the eutectic line. On a phase diagram, the eutectic line divides the solid region from the region where there is at least some liquid present. Uh, eutectic is from the Greek root for melting. So you can think of the eutectic line as just being the melt line. Something above the eutectic line will have a little bit of liquid in it, usually, um, and something below is all solid. So a eutectic composition is one in which, as you cool, you go directly from liquid to solid. It's a sudden transition uh, where everything gets solid all at once. So here would be the equivalent to water, and here would be the equivalent to ice. When you go in this fashion of switching from pure liquid to solid mixtures of alpha and beta, uh, you end up with a figure that is nice and well divided, uh, a lot of different smooth lines, no big splotches. But the more common situation is a non-eutectic mixture, which is also called a hyper-eutectic composition. Uh, all that means is that you're not at this perfect transition from liquid to solid. So in most cases, you mix together some of element A and some of element B at a high temperature and you melt it. And then as you cool, some phase will start to form into solid while you still have liquid. So this would be the equivalent to ice cubes inside a glass of water. There's still a lot of water, but ice cubes are starting to form. When you get down to the eutectic line, you've got these large splotches of solid surrounded by liquid. When you go beneath the eutectic line, beneath the melt line, then all the liquid becomes solid as well. So the liquid fills in between the blotches of pure solid. But now, whereas before you were looking at a mixture of, on the right side, beta, on the left side, liquid, now you're looking at a mixture on the right side, beta, on the left side, alpha, which is the other form of solid. So what we end up with in a typical mixture are large blobs or regions of pure solid of one mixture type, in this case beta, and then in between them mixtures of alpha and beta. So if we look at the beginning of chapter 9 to this diagram, where there are no large splotches of solids, we notice, as it says in the book, that this is a eutectic mixture. And that gives us this beautiful zebra-like pattern. If it was a hyper eutectic uh, there would be big regions of either black or white, depending on which side of the diagram you're on. Now some of the uh, problems in our book, which is uh, Shackelford's Introduction to Mechanical uh, Material Science for Engineers, some of the problems deal with the fact that we want to know what fraction of the mixture is this pro-eutectic region, the regions formed uh, above the line, and which fraction is this mixture. And the way you solve that is by ratios. By the lever rule, we see just above the eutectic line that this mixture is going to be 67% beta. And I uh, haven't done the math, but it tells us here. 67% meaning at this point is roughly two-thirds of the way over between the left and the right boundaries. And since it's closer to beta, it means it's two-thirds beta, one-third liquid. Directly below this line, it's 83% beta and 17% alpha. And that's because you're 83% of the way over from this border to that border. And because you're closer to beta, the 83% number means you're 83% beta, 17% alpha. So when you cool down, your total mixture is 83% beta, but a lot of that beta formed above the line. The fraction that's called proto-eutectic uh, is 67% over 83%, or in this case, 81% uh, proto-eutectic beta. There's an example in this textbook, example number 9.6, that talks about doing the same sort of a calculation for a 70% mixture. In that example, they discover that above the eutectic line, you're 33% beta, because you're one-third of the way over from the liquid to the beta side. 
and below the eutectic line, you're 67% beta, because you're two-thirds of the way over towards the beta line. And so in that example in the book, the ratio is pre or above the eutectic line over beneath the eutectic line equals 50%. So once again, the eutectic line is the melt line. Above the eutectic line, you can have some liquid. Below, solid. And that completes this lecture.